Hello, and I'm Tina, and welcome to Lakeshore Academy. Today, I am going to be talking to you about how you can incorporate board games into your homeschool curriculum. Now, I'm not saying go out there and buy all those expensive board games and, and spend a lot of money. What I'm saying is you can get quality board games used like from Goodwill. That's mostly where I get all my board games from. Now, sometimes I do get some board games from Amazon, but it has to be an incredible deal for me to purchase it because sometimes they can be a little pricey when it comes to board games. But for the most part, I go and do my homeschool haul at the Goodwill or yard sales, garage sales, and I go pick up a lot of great things for a fraction of the cost. So, Let's talk about one subject at a time. Let's talk about math. So, your kids are, they're doing their math curriculum and everything is going fine, but you want something to spice up math. You want them to have some fun. You want it to be a fun educational day dealing with that subject, math. I bought this from the Goodwill for $1.75. It came with a DVD. It came with the little dry erase boards, but you can write down your bids on. And this, I used this when we was talking about estimation. Um, when we was working with money and we had to estimate. So they saw it on paper, how you're supposed to estimate. But I said, well, let's, let's figure out how you do it in real life. They love to watch the prices right anyway. So I knew this game would be good for them. So we played this several times, which we're probably going to be playing it this year too, because it's just really fun. And um, so we use this to help us with math, dealing with estimation, the price is right, and money. This one is dog, dogopoly. Kind of like the same thing like Monopoly. Only thing different is everything is dealing with the dogs. You have to buy property, sell property. Um, you earn money or lose money based on where you um, fall at. This only costs a dollar and seventy-five cent. This game was brand new from the Goodwill. The kids absolutely love it. This also is incorporating science, dealing with the animals, and being that my daughter love, <clears throat> excuse me, being that my daughter love animals, this is up her alley. But my son, he liked it too because we all played it, and the whole time. The key thing is have one of your children be the bank and let them operate all the money and they don't even realize they're doing math. They're having so much fun. They're adding and subtracting, doing mental math right in their heads and don't even realize it. And then if they get to a problem where they can't figure it out in their head, give them a scratch piece of paper. Give them a calculator. Let them work it out. And it's very, very fun. So they're learning about animals. They're doing math, they're doing basic math concepts, and they're learning how valuable land and different other things is. So it's, they're working with their logic. This is another math um, board game I use for math. Here is our, one of our favorite board games for life skills, math, and so forth. Life. Um, they have the free digital version on most um, cell phones and tablets and stuff like that so we have that version as well but we also play this game the kids really really love this you're going to be working on math you're going to be working on logic you're going to be working on life skills you're going to be working on consequences this game has so many different things that you're going to be hitting when you do it and they even talk about different areas that you're living in it talks about making choices whether you're going to take the safe route or the risky route trial and error consequences so it's very very good i bought this from the goodwill as well and i only paid four dollars and 75 cent for it and all the pieces was in there this is a, um the last two games that i'm showing you for math what i use with math for my kids on some days is my one of my other friends that's a homeschooler she gave this to me so we're gonna definitely gonna be using this this year we already used one of them it's payday this is so good to teach your children life skills to teach them how it is living in the real world you have mortgage you have utility bill you have different things that you have to pay in order to be able to live in this world so this game is so super duper cool 
Um, you Again, you're working with money. You're working with concepts. You're working with logic. You're working with real life. And it's working based on what you get paid on payday with, um, with a job or your career or whatever you're doing. So it's pretty cool. This is a good one for math too. And um, like I said, this was a gift to me. So I don't know how much it costs. But I'm pretty sure you can find it in the Goodwill. And this is the excellent time right before school starts. And right after the holidays is the best time to go look for games and stuff. Because that's usually when people get rid of stuff. After a holiday, like uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving, they usually get rid of stuff sometime. Um, and the first of the year. That's a good time. And right before school starts, that's another good time to go sh looking for good, good games um at the goodwill and we're also gonna be doing this it says buy it right this was also a gift um from another homeschool mom that she gave this to me you worked on the um this game works on three skill levels so it's geared towards great um ages five to nine but of course you can use this it doesn't matter you deal with money calculations how much stuff costs um shopping what i usually do is i go to the grocery store um and I get all the different, I go to various different grocery stores and I pick up just the sale paper and I bring it home and I have some fake money and I have a register, a fake register. And I let, and I give them a certain amount of money and I tell them, I write it down. I say, well, this is what I want you to do with it. You have to survive on this money for a certain amount of time and you have to pay this. You have to do that. What are you going to do? How are you going to shop for the things that you need for your food? How are you going to do for your personal, uh, your personal products like deodorant, laundry detergent, and soap and so forth like that? How are you going to balance all of that? And plus, have enough money to go to work, to drive, to go to work, have enough money to uh, for a rainy day like if something comes up and you something comes up and you need to fix any, something in your house how are you going to do that so I usually do that and I also will be using this this year too this is more and just dealing with money estimation real life skills so that is what I'm doing for math and that's how I incorporate board games into my homeschool curriculum. It makes it fun. It gives the children some like downtime. It gives you that cool family bonding experience when you're playing the games and it just, and, and they're learning at the same time. Cause the goal is you want your kids to be able to be able, what we're teaching them, you want them to be able to live and function and be able to survive on their own. So these type of games that's low key that they're really not thinking they're doing any math or anything like that, but it's really helped teaching them. And so I like that. And I do that along with whatever math curriculum that we're currently using or that we're doing. I incorporate these board games to, to, to spice it up, to have some fun. So I just want to give you that cool little idea about how I use board games. Now I'm going to come back with another video showing you how I do board games with another subject with the board games I have and go check out your local Goodwill because they have a lot of good, good, good things, good things, books, resources, and stuff like that where you can spend a fraction of the cost Use for books like student books at the Goodwill is just 50 cent. Even if it's hardcover, it's 50 cent. If it's not hardcover, I mean, if it is hardcover and it's not a school book, it's just two bucks. And then you look it up online and you see the same $2 book for like $25. So just go check your Goodwill. Again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy showing you how you can use board games to support your homeschool curriculum. 